In this video, I'll do a problem very similar to one that we've done before, where we released a block at the top, let it slide around, tried to find the kinetic energy here, and the minimum height needed to keep it on the track. This time we're doing the exact same thing, but we have a ball, and the ball is going to roll. And so now we have to take into account rotational kinetic energy as well. So again, I started out by drawing the scenario here, and I've put our knowns and our unknowns that we're looking for. So the sphere starts here, V naught equals zero, rolls down through this circular part with radius capital R into this final position. It's a solid sphere, so I put the moment of inertia of a solid sphere here, figuring we'll probably need that. We've got M of the sphere, got the height, we got R. First, let's find the total kinetic energy at this point. So, conservation of energy. There's no external work being done by an external force. So, K initial plus gravitational initial, spring initial, thermal initial, K final, gravitational final, spring final, and thermal final. K initial, it's not moving, zero. Gravitational initial, we'll set down here y equals zero. So if y equals zero there, then yes, it does have initial gravitational. That is m g h. Spring? No springs, so that's gone. Thermal, we have nothing, no friction, air resistance, nothing like that, so thermal is gone. Final kinetic, yes, that's what we're looking for. Gra final gravitational. So final kinetic, final gravitational, that is mg times height above here. This is r, so 1r, 2r. So mg times 2r plus no spring and no thermal. Okay, so k final is mg times h minus 2r. If I did my math right there, I took this, subtracted it from both sides, and then factored out an mg. So that is 50 kg, 9.8 meters per second squared, times h, 54 meters, minus two of those is 36 meters, 8,820 joules. Okay, that is the first one, final total kinetic. Now, H min to stay on the track. Remember how we did that last time? We had to switch to a free body diagram here. So the free body diagram says mg is pointed down. Then we have the normal force from the track. So the no track is on top. Normal force will push down on it. But we want it to just barely stay on the track. That's the point where the normal force goes to zero. So there is no normal force. So mg is the force down. And that has to be the centripetal force. And centripetal force is mv squared over r. So we can solve this for v. mg is mv squared over r. So v is, see, m goes away. So it's gr. square root. So k final is k final translational plus k final rotational. So that's one half m v final squared plus one half i two fifths m r squared omega final squared. And then we also have to remember that V is omega R. 
We have a relationship here for V, so that means we should probably convert this omega into a V. So omega equals V over R. So that means K final is one half M V final squared plus one half times two fifths M. Omega is V over R. So we've got here an R squared V final over R squared. The R squareds cancel out. So this becomes mv final squared times, there's a one half from this first term, and there's a one half times two fifths from the second term. So one half plus one fifth mv final squared. Now we can take this v and make it gr. Okay? So that is mgr times one half plus one fifth. So for the second part, this is the final kinetic energy that we need. Knowing that k final is equal to this, we can set this k final equal to that one. So for h min, mg h min minus 2r mg, that's this part, that's k final from here, has to be equal to mg r times mg goes away. So h min equals r times 2 plus 1 half plus 1 fifth. So h min equals 48.6 meters.